trading is simple guys but it's not easy it's not easy guys so in today's video i'm going to be showing you what exactly what i'm talking about guys now and then i'm going to be showing you like a few diagrams and then we'll get to the charts so that you can see what i'm talking about and then i'll show you the trades that we took in the vip group and starting off uh, we have like a downtrend let's say we have a downtrend for argument's sake and then we'll get like to the uptrend in a minute so you have a downtrend here and then we all know that if we have a downtrend then it means that uh, you're buying opportunities they will be like corrective being corrective they'll give you like a ascending channel like this at the top of the structure then you look for a breakout maybe a retest around here then you look for that impulse to the downside same applies here you look for another corrective move to the upside that can give you like a high and then after that you'll get like a a correction and then after that you wait for a breakout maybe a tight flag or a retest and then you look for sales same applies around here up until guys now the market impulses out and then comes back to retest that this area here retesting this area it will be retesting like uh, some type of a support around here and then you look for buys up until like this area here then after then after the breakout and a retest then the market will create a new trend to the upside and then creating a new trend to the upside that's when you look for these type of things now the market will change direction and then you look for buys around here and then looking for buys then you know that the market will impulse and then it will give you a corrective move like this and then in that corrective move it's a descending channel and then you look for buys up to here and then after that the market will correct to the downside then you look for that descending channel breakout maybe a retest then you look for buys up until the market breaks the structure guys and then when i say the market breaks the structure i mean that the market will impulse down break the slow come back to retest it and then you look for sales then same applies the market will change structure and then give, and then give you this one around here then you look for sales that's why i'm saying that forex is simple but it's hard guys simple but it's hard look at those scenarios that i shared with you guys but in the live markets it's a very 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 different story but guys i'll be showing you worry not i'll be showing you everything do subscribe do stick around up until the end so that you can understand so let's say AUD cat guys now uh, we were looking at AUD cat for sales reason being reason why we were looking for sales is this one here the market gave us like a descending channel like this we were looking for buys around here but those buys didn't come around just because the market was giving us a new trend here to the downside i was waiting for it to break this area come back and retest around here then we look for buys so i decided no man guys let's take sales let's take sales so moving to the uh for our chat that's where i'll get deeper into everything and then let me fix those trends so that you can see what i've been talking about so this is what we had now previously we were we were having like this as our first touch and then this as our second touch and then at the bottom we are having this first touch and then we're having this third touch as a fake out so i was thinking that we may get like a third touch to complete this descending channel before we can go to the upside so moving to the hour we had like a trend within a trend sorry about the mess guys ne? sorry about the mess let me just remove a few things so that you can see what i'm talking about guys and then guys check out the the, the udemy course guys uh, it's literally free guys just because it's about 10 to 15 dollars you can just check it out use the link in the description below so we had like this descending channel here forming on its own and then i was looking at this as a first touch this is a second touch this is a first touch this is a second touch so i was looking at this one like this ne? let me switch back to the four hour and just explain remember i said we were looking for the first touch second touch and third touch to complete this descending channel and then as i go back to the one hour chart that's where you'll see that the third touch will complete like two third third touches uh this one here one two three and then the other one on the for our chat on the overall auto structure so guys i said now nah, let's take sales up until from here first take profit around here second take profit around here and then we hit those take profits very very simple guys very very simple let me just get to uh the the, the vip group and then just show you what happened in the vip group so that you can see 
everything guys now so uh where's the trade let me check the trade let me check the trade this is fun guys trading is fun uh, and then this is my vip group i don't know what's happening uh in the vip group at the moment uh let's see let's check so this is the setup that i shared with my guys here yeah, this is the setup that i shared i said one two one two then we're looking for the third touch here and then this was our cell stop loss just above and then as you can see here aed cat cell stop loss tp1 tp2 and then as you can see here we were trading nasdaq previously on this one i posted the video this is the one and then this is the aed cat that we were talking about as you can see here the profits the aed cat the tp1 smashed approaching tp1 powerful aed cat tp2 hit and then there are other there are other there are other analysis that i shared with the vip group guys so let me let's get back to the chat and then let me just show you another entry that we took so as you can see here this is uh, aud euro aud as you can see here the overall trend we were looking at the overall trend just because the market broke this descending channel and then created another trend around here. As I said, uh, when I was illust illustrating everything. So we are waiting for the impulse correction, impulse correction, impulse. This is the correction. Then we wait for the breakout retest and then we took the buy. First TP, second TP hit. No mistake, guys. First TP, TP1 smashed. And then I think someone told me TP2 smashed. Uh, a while ago uh, let let me just check uh my 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 trade my 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 uh my trading my uh telegram is not loading guys but like we hit tp1 and tp2 uh, as you can see here tp1 approaching tp1 then we smashed everything on this one so uh let's get to another pay that i shared with the guys that i shared with the guys then if you want signals or if you want mentorship you can just text me guys so same scenario guys same scenario we broke structure let's check the daily chart we broke structure on the daily as you can see here the descending channel and then we broke structure in a form of an uptrend so moving to the hour chart and then this one we didn't place like any any stop loss or any tp on this one guys just because i was looking at a longer term uh trade here so this is our first tp and then i was looking at this high here as our second tp so as you can see here we're still in profits told them just to lock uh the trades maybe up up to here lock the trades up to here or just uh lose a few trades just because we scalp and swing most of the time so let's just check uh so this is the trade as you can see here in profits look a few trades and scalp a few kings and queens so yeah so that's what's happening guys so i can just uh explain that again to you guys so that you can understand so let's get back to the diagram or let's get back to a pair let's get back to a pair so that you can understand this guys so let's say you are starting from the daily now Starting from the daily, guys, you look for the overall trend. You just zoom out, just zoom out and see everything. Just because if you don't zoom out, like you leave your chest like this and just focus on this thing here, you'll think that uh, the market is still selling. But when you zoom out and look at everything, you'll see that we have an inverse head and shoulders around here. An inverse head and shoulders, your left shoulder, your head here, and then your right shoulder. And then the right shoulder all the time guys it surpasses the left shoulder as you can see here it surpassed the left shoulder and then another thing that we have is that we have this nice impulse up and then this is the correction so you can say that we have like a trend to the upside and then this is the correction that we're looking for to look for bias up until this area here so that's the scenario that i'm looking at guys né? and then i've been changing like my trading style uh for many reasons guys many many reasons uh, and the other one is that i work with people guys and then the style that i was trading was very 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 um was very very slow guys on taking trades i know that uh waiting is a good thing in the markets but then i work with people guys people expect trades people expect to make money so i have to uh, compromise everything and then make sure that my people are good so let's say 
this is the descending channel that we were looking at on the daily chart around here the new cater for the touches as you can see here then we have the descending channel in a bullish trend guys so what we're waiting for on this one let's say the market breaks like this area here and then we break this area we come back and retest and then we look for buys up until this area here so that's how guys basically i trade for now guys that's how i trade for now and then i think we hit uh a very 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 nice trade on nasdaq today just because uh my telegram is not loading but guys i'll see you on another video i hope you do like these videos that i share please do subscribe please do share the video with your loved ones if it may be valuable to them and then you can check out like my udemy cost is about 10 to 15 dollars and it's worth it guys i don't think it's worth it i know it's worth it and then uh my one-on-one -on -one mentorship is about 1.5 and then i'll see you on another video it's your boy bradley forex peace out I'm playing guys, it's your boy Bradley Mutau. I'm rebranding now. I'm not calling myself Bradley Forex anymore. Bradley Mutau. You know what it is, you know the vibes. Bye guys.